Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm doing another video about rotor. This is going to be the last one, okay? I promise, this will be the last rotor one. But this is an important one. It all leads up to this, okay? Because after, after the other videos, I thought to myself, I want to make a helicopter that, you know, doesn't destroy the crew's vestibular system and, you know, spin them around at Mach million. Anyways, so, being the engineer I am, I thought to myself, let's make a helicopter that doesn't rotate the cabin. And boom, this is what I got. It's 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 beautiful, I tell you, it's beautiful. Uh, Valentina is going to be our pilot for this one, and I actually spent all this time building a bearing because I needed a bearing. Anyway, so we do that, boom, and okay, and then I go keep upright, and now it's a matter of just spinning it up. Isn't that beautiful? Now it's a little shaky like that, um, and look for taking off, and that's because it vibrates as it, you know, does this. I was, I managed to re reduce the vibrating a lot, and at one point I had it gone, but I broke it when I was fiddling with it. However, this is actually pretty good, even though Valentina is probably vibrating, and uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's her that's vibrating, or if it's the engine that's vibrating, and I just can't tell. Now, it keeps it relatively stable. Sometimes the engine locks up and spins there. In fact, if I uh, reduce power, and then redo power while it falls... Oh. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> huh. That's right, I don't have cheats on. Well, actually, I do have two cheats on. Propellant, actually, I don't need propellant, but electricity anyways. And that's just because, um, you know, I, I needed the electricity to keep it spinning. When I made this, I originally made it so it had engines that spun it without having to turn it. But it felt kind of cheaty to me, because, you know, you could very easily cheat by making the engines give a bit of downward thrust, and it wasn't good. So I decided to do it purely on rotation, just so I could show that I'm not cheating, um... Anyway, in fact, hat gravity is off here. I'll, I'll even do this. We can reset it. So now it's it's good. And uh, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. And it will still take off because it's beautiful. Again, the vibration is sometimes good, sometimes not. It's really annoying. But look at that. Look how wonderful that is. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> so this is my attempt at a stock helicopter in KSP, using no mods and having to build a bearing myself. And uh, I wonder if I can reduce the vibration a bit. Well, I should, let, let's see if I can lock up the engine. So I do that, and then it should. There we go. And then it locks up and does this. But Valentina still survives because she's awesome. Now you may be wondering why I'm using that decoupler. Uh, that's because other, the other decouplers caused friction. It's I spent like an hour working on this. So, <laughs> but yeah, let's see if I can actually um, reduce some of that vibration. Because now that I've shown you, shown you like, shown it work, I don't have to worry about breaking it. Even though I'm very likely gonna break it. Um. Right, let's do this. Just down a little bit. Because you never know. Launch. I think I spelled helicopter wrong. I don't actually know. I wasn't paying attention. It's 5 in the morning and I'm dyslexic, so... Hey. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Oh boy. Alright then. Do that. Do that. Good, good. The problem is you want to, like maintain friction, but also eliminate friction. It's kind of a weird balance. So let's see if this works. No, there's too much friction between the underside and the and the probe. It'll probably still take off, but it won't. It's, actually, it's not. It's bleeding off a lot of energy. Um, now, going in the other direction, I could move the wheels up and give it more leeway, but then that usually causes more bouncy vibration. It's really weird. It's kind of a finicky system. Like, sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. 
but at least it moderately right here I'm watching I can go the other direction like this and uh, we'll see if, what that does I'm quite pleased with this um, I've never actually made a bearing in KSV before but uh, this is a this is a first and it actually works relatively well I mean all things yeah it could it could work w worse I, I guess Boop. Yeah, I see when there's a lot of space there, it vibrates up it vibrates up and down a lot more. So it's kind of a fine-tuned balance you have to you have to maintain in order for it to really work. But then again, the the mod, the the, the, the developers. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the developers really don't seem to care about the game anymore and uh don't add anything of value. They just kind of rushed it out and uh, lied to us. But I already did that whole complaining thing, so I'm not going to do it again. Alright, um, hat gravity, let's bring it down to 50, yeah, close enough. Let's keep that upright as well. And keep you upright. And away it goes. The engine also locks up easier. And something broke. Oh, the actual control for the uh, the rotor broke. I suppose I could turn off breakable joints, but then it's pretty cheaty. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a really shitty um, rotor or bearing, but it works more or less. But, uh, yeah, helicopter. I'm proud of myself. This worked great on Lathe, actually. Lower gravity. Uh, it might work on Eve, but I don't think so. I give it a shot. I don't know. Anyways, I think that that's all for now. I just wanted to show off my awesome stock helicopter, because I'm quite proud of myself. And it's quite awesome. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And space?